Hey everyone. So in this video, I want to show you how to use the show controllers and hide hands when grabbing features inside of the GDXR VR template. So this is inside the DA character variables, hands and controllers. If we leave them both to false and then we jump in, you'll see by default that we have access to our hands. And when we go up and we pick something up, you'll see that we can actually grab them, same as normal and go from there. So what we've got in this one is our option for show controllers. If you take this, what it'll do is it'll switch the hands out and it'll make it so you can see your open XR controllers instead, which you can then use to interact and do everything exactly the same way. So that's just switching those out. And then we have hide hands when grabbing. What this does is it actually hides what you're using. So let's say we go up and we don't want our controllers to be visible. So we can pick it up and it will hide them. And then when we release, it brings them back. So very simple, quick one today. So with this video, and then that's pretty much it for the settings. If you're interested in where they're located and where it's all the information is stored. So inside of our GDXR VR character, in our event graph, we have these two sections here. So I'll switch between controller meshes or open XR meshes, which is exactly what it says. And then we have hide hands when grabbing actors. And what this does is it has a custom event, which is set up to work with our grabbing, if I remember it is. So when we grab something, we literally just say hide our controller and then hide it from there. And you can also call this from different blueprints. So let's say you're, you've ended a cutscene or something, you don't want to see your hands as an example, you could just get your player controller and then you could call this and hide hands and go from there. But you probably would need a, a reference to your motion controller. I might actually switch that saying this. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch that around, make it a little bit easier to use. But it'll stay the same and then you'll be able to go from there. Yeah, that's it for switching hands. All right. Thank you to everyone over at Patreon for making this possible. It wouldn't have been without you guys and your support and all the help that you've provided as well over on the Discord. So if you're interested in supporting this or downloading it now, then you can head over to Patreon. It's available for Fiverr as of, as of right now, but it's probably going to change sometime in the future due to the amount of content that I want to add to this. I, I don't have, I'm not going to be able to do it myself. Uh, I'm probably going to need someone with better 3D skills and yeah, rigging as well. So sneak peek to what might be coming. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, stay safe. I'll see you then.